Hello and welcome to Power Pivot Intro. My name's Jeff and I'm glad that you're here. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. I love sharing the things I've learned about Excel over the years, especially those things that help us get our work done faster. And I'm excited for today's session because we get to talk about Power Pivot. So we're gonna zoom way out, then we're gonna zoom way in. What is Power Pivot? This is a tool or a, a user interface. It's a window, it's a screen, it's an editor that helps us manage the data model. Now watch what happens. We go to Insert pivot table and now we have an option use this workbook's data model as the source for our pivot table report historically we've been using this now we're going to use this the data model becomes the source for our reports as the complexity of our models grows as the sophistication of our workbooks and our reports grows, we'll be better off by explicitly writing those formulas, explicit measures. So how do we do that? We do that by going to Power Pivot, Measures, and clicking New Measure. When I click New Measure, I get this measure screen. We got it, we got it. And, um, and so now what we have is, is a beautiful system because now we can bring, uh, you know, updated actuals anytime, bring updated budget or forecast anytime. If there are any new accounts, it would be included. And now what I need to do is just hit data, refresh all, and everything is going to be updated as those values change. Okay. And this is an illustration of using multiple data tables. And what if we actually wanted to sort this in financial statement order? Like, could we do that? Yeah, we could do that. Let's do that again. Let's go back to Power Pivot. Let's go to Manage. Let's go to the chart of accounts. Let's grab the account and let's do a sort by. And I'm going to select account num and click OK. And once it's updated, I can switch back. And now we've got wages. 